Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about concurrency and why it's important that we have uh, concurrency for lambda functions. Well, by default, uh, one lambda function can process one request at a time. And if you're working on a large enterprise application, that might be pretty bad because obviously if you have thousands of requests coming in, you want to have a uh, concurrency set up so you can serve multiple requests simultaneously because right now for application our endpoint is configured in a way that one request can be handled at a time and so if there are other people uh, uploading images of pneumonia and hitting our endpoint we have to wait until the request finishes and then we can go on to the next one and obviously this will increase our latency and that's going to make our customers uh, pretty angry, so we don't want that. And so there are two types of uh, concurrencies that we can set up. All right, let's go into our Lambda functions and see how we can set it up and talk about it. And go to Configurations tab and go to Concurrency. So the two types of concurrencies is reserved and provisioned. Uh, reserved concurrency guarantees a maximum number of instances. So we can specify right now, I just added five for mine, but I'll show you how we can uh, add it and everything. It's really simple. So right now with this five, what you see over here is that I can serve five requests simultaneously. And it has a lower cost than provisioned concurrency. However, it also has a maximum hard limit. So we might still have latency issues. So if I set this to 10 and I have 15 uh, requests coming in, then obviously some people will still have some latency issues. Uh, so that's the problem with uh, reserved concurrency. But for our application, it's actually going to be perfect because if we set it to, I don't know, 1 or 200, uh, that's going to be uh, pretty good because even if we have an enterprise image classifier, we probably won't have requests coming in more than 100 or 200 at a time. Um, and the way you edit this is just really simple. You just come over here to edit and you'll, you'll probably have yours on use unreserved account concurrency. So just switch to reserve concurrency and you can set the uh, concurrency to whatever number you want to. And so I can just save this. Right now I can save, I can serve five requests at a time. Now the next type of concurrency is provisioned. Um, concurrency which has a higher cost because it's an always on instance and it can serve all the requests without wait time but it does come with a higher cost and in order for you to uh, turn on provision concurrency you have to have a version first so come over here to versions and publish a new version I can just say foo publish and as you can see it actually switch to provision concurrency as soon as I published uh, my my new version and for me this is version 3 for you guys it's probably going to be version 1 or 2 because I've already uh, played with this and then you can just come over here and press on uh, edit and just set up your provision concurrency but do note that because it's an always on instance uh, this costs you money so while your lambda functions are there ready to serve the requests so that's why I don't recommend uh, using provision concurrency for our project um, so I can just go back actually to my endpoint go to configuration go to versions and I don't even need this version even though it's not set up so I haven't set up uh, provision concurrency so this is not incurring any charges for me I still don't want it here because uh, yeah, that's just my preference. So in our configuration for concurrency, we have five set up, so we can serve five requests simultaneously. So I will see you in the next video, so stay tuned.